one I think is a little more difficult. The sound is more difficult. Because you almost have to like bite your lip. So I will say the word and then you say the word. And we'll go back and forth. So the first word, vest. 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 West. West. Love. 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 Low. 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 Very. 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 So do these ones sound the same to you? If you say them, make sure you're saying very. 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 Vent. Vent. Went. Went. Alright, so now we are kind of warmed up. I want to play a game where you will test each other to see which sound you are saying. So we'll practice with me. You see I have a one and a two. So when I say a word, if you hear very, say one or two, very. Which one do you hear? One. It's number one. If I say low, two. What about went? Went. Is it one or two? Went. Two. Two. So with someone sitting next to you, you try it. Check each other's pronunciation. What sound do you hear? Is your friend saying the correct sound? So have a friend next to you. Choose some words. Say them and your friend will hold up one or two fingers. This is my husband, so he can volunteer. <laughs> 
Victor wore a velvet vest when he went to France. You're my favorite student. <laughs> so that's a fun way. You can think of some rhymes to practice pronunciation. So that was pronunciation. Pronunciation is a little boring, but it's very important. And the more you practice, the better you will be. So the second, the second thing we will talk about is immersion. So what, one of the best ways to learn language is if I take you out of India and put you in Michigan, where you're surrounded by people who speak English. That's the best way to learn. But we can't take you out of India and put you in Michigan, right? Your family would miss you too much. Your friends would miss you too much. So, how do we bring English to you? So one of the things that I found in China that helped me learn was to listen to music. That way I can have Chinese language around all the time. I can always hear it, but I'm not studying it. I'm not forcing myself to try to pay attention. It's just always playing. So if you find some English songs you like, you can listen to them. So for example, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Do you know that song? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder what you are. Half the world's so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Yeah. So it's a it's a song in English, but you learned it. You don't even think about it now. So if there's some other songs you can learn. So for me, I always like to learn songs in Chinese. So that's one way I helped immerse myself. Can you think of any other ways you could have English, in, that you could be able to listen to English, even though you don't live in the US? So talk to your friends. Think if you can think of three ideas. Talk to your friends and think of three ideas. How can you at home or at school hear more English? So I'll give you maybe one minute. Think of three things. friends. 
his English is great. All he does is he just watches American movies, but he doesn't put any subtitles at the bottom. He just has to watch it by himself. Listening to songs? What about singing them? Do you like to sing? <laughs> so, in Chinese, there's a children's song I learned. Liang zhi lao hu, liang zhi lao hu, how the kwai, how the kwai. So it's like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it's about two tigers. So even singing songs, I can practice pronunciation while I'm singing and doing things I enjoy. So these are all great ideas that you can do when you go home on the weekend, do for a, a class project that will help you hear more English. Okay, so my, the first one was, what was the first thing we talked about? Pronunciation. What was the second thing? Immersion, immerse yourself, yeah. So immerse, you can think of it like you have English around you all the time. So finding ways to immerse yourself. The third one is don't be afraid. I've met so many people during our three weeks in India who say, oh no, no, I don't speak English. But then once they are more comfortable, they speak a lot of English. Their English is great, but they are just afraid, so it keeps them from speaking English. So even at the beginning, when we were playing the game, you were a little bit shy. But now we've practiced, we've done pronunciation practice, we've answered a few questions. So I think some people are less shy now. You're, you're not so afraid. So, I'll tell you a few stories and then we'll do one more activity. So my, there was one boy that we met here. My friend Amanda came with us and the first day we went shopping and we asked him, do you speak English? And he said, no, 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 I don't speak English. But then as we were going through the day and shopping, he started to become more confident and started to speak more English. And now he's good friends with my friend because they were able to have conversations because he wasn't afraid anymore. I had also one more student in the United States. He comes from a country called Peru. So he spoke Spanish. And I studied with him for one year to help him practice English and become more confident. And eventually, he would just, we would talk. We would have one hour and he would just talk in English on Skype. Eventually, his English became so good, he got an American girlfriend. So he became confident. And he also helped more people who were coming from other countries. He would help them adjust to American culture and help translate for them because he had more confidence to speak English. So it's a little scary. You don't want to sound strange when you speak. So maybe it's a little scary to try to speak. When I learned Chinese, I was a little shy to speak Chinese. But my second year, I was with my friend and she didn't speak any Chinese. And we went out together shopping and I realized, oh, she can't speak Chinese, so I have to do it. So I had to ignore the fear and just start speaking and try to communicate as best I could. Whatever words I could have to use, somehow the other person and I could figure out what I was talking about. So then I became more confident and learned, was able to learn more Chinese and use it. So I want to do an activity one more activity where you guys are going to communicate with me to try to tell me to do something. So the, the activity is you will tell me 